Hey everyone, welcome back to Factorio. I'm Nog, and today we are going to be setting up some uh, some of our uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I can't find the word word now. Main bus. There it is. And we are going to start out by setting up some iron gear production and some uh, green circuit production. We're going to leave a little bit of space here between the science and the rest, and then we will get started. So, oh, steel access finished, which is great. So, let's get what do we want to get? We want automation 2 to get up and running. All right, so iron gears. Basically, they just need iron, so which is nice and simple. So we'll make an output line here in the middle and bring iron up on either side. And get started on that. Let's see where do we want it. We want it there and we want it there. Okay. So, all right, and then we just need inserters and power, and we are up and running. So, these definitely need fast inserters on both in and out. So, we'll give them that and get the power going. Where do we have our power line? Up here. Okay. We have power. And automation 2 is finished. So let's get some heavy armor. And start these guys producing. down here and I think we'll want them on this level. Let's just see we have copper times four. Whoops. Wrong way. I keep putting them down the wrong way. And get it in here. And going. All right, so that's iron gear wheels, and I think we will probably want two lines of those. I'm not entirely certain, but probably. Let's get rid of these rocks. And move along. Copper moving along as well. <coughs> We're out of belt. So let's just go grab some of that. Grab some iron gear wheels while we are going, or some iron plate while we're going, because we're gonna need it. Uh, heavy armor finished. Uh, let's see what do we want to do next? Uh, let's just get stone walls, that won't take very long. And you can see the progress bar up here, it's pretty fast right now. So, there we have stone walls. And then I want, uh, I think I want the tool belt, because that gives us uh, 10 extra inventory slots, which is very nice. So, let's get that up and researching and then I want to handcraft some more assembling machines I do want to get steel up and running uh, very soon uh, but I'm okay with uh, with just having regular assembling machines for just now so but I do want 
inserters and quite a lot of them actually so let's just grab some iron and you can actually steal some iron gear wheels and some green circuits over here so that we have those and don't need to craft them as well all right so let's split out iron here oh, this is way too much space uh, let's just do it here that should leave enough room for another line of uh, iron gear wheels if we want it and actually I want iron in the middle so I want copper first there and because we're setting up green circuits now and we'll run that on both sides of the belt as well so we'll make a setup that looks something like this and then we'll have an output and an input and the exact same on the other side here so this goes there I think no one over yeah one over so let's just do that like so and then we want copper up here as well going here So, alright, so we're supplying everything now that we need, and next step is to get it actually producing something. So, let's set it up here, like that, like that, like that, and we need one more long-handed inserter, let's just make five. So, and then we'll do the same over here, like that, and give everything some power. Same on the other side. Like so. Oh, the ones in the middle don't have power, so let's just move this up one. That should be fine. Yep. Alright, everything is powered. We need copper cable. In these ones, and we need oops, that copper cable. Uh, we wanted to make electronic circuits there, and again the wrong way. Great, and then all we need to do is get the green circuits onto our. bus which we can do like this all right so green circuits and iron gear wheels are being made no we need to put the output uh, or the input of iron here so that we get them going on both sides 
All right, and we have the new tool belt, which is also great. And I think I want to do military too, because the biters are being a little bit annoying. Uh, all right, so we have that production up and running as well. And we're definitely not producing enough uh, iron now if, uh, if we were uh, continuously uh, using it all in the mall and so on as well. But that's okay. Uh, let's see, we got an attack over here before. So let's stick another turret down here. Give it some ammo. Do you guys have ammo? Not a whole lot. So, just fix this one. Alright, I need some electric mining drills because we are going to need more production of, of iron uh, very soon because we are going to set up a a steel smelting array as well. Uh, I want to pick this up because there's no room for it there. And this as well. Ah, where are they attacking now? Jesus Christ! Come on guys, give me a break! What did they destroy? A power pole for sure. Uh, where did that go? Probably went here. Did they destroy any belt? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's research some more. Uh, circuit network would be nice. I need to play some more turrets, many, many more turrets. So let's place some down here, some down here, some down here, and I need to make more. Okay, so the biters are not letting up, which is a little bit annoying. But who can really truly blame them for trying to defend their home from all of this pollution? Well, in all honesty, I blame them. So. There's that. Okay. So, a bit more defense coming up. And let's just repair these as well. And over here, need some ammo. Should we place a couple up here as well? I think we should. So let's do that. All right. I feel a little bit better defended now, which is nice. So what I want to do is now is I want to finish up this uh, iron smelting array and let's just pick these power poles up because they're gonna get in the way there and we need way 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 more inserters uh, whoops wrong side but let's um, I think we'll go and steal some from uh, from the science production up here Yes, they did, did kill belts, obviously. So, there. Alright, let's steal all of these inserters. Alright, we have 90 now, that should be 
enough, I think. And stick them in here. And on the other side, whoops. All right. Good. And get everything powered up. So, so now we have a full array of, uh, of iron smelting, and what I'll do is I will just copy it, right there, and stick it in, uh, I need to copy again, because I don't want uh, the bottom power pole Include it as it'll be in the way. And before we do anything else, we need to uh, just remove these. Now we can copy. No, we cannot, because we need to move these as well. All right. Now I think we can finally copy. So let's get this copy going there and just plunk it down in a line here. We want four of these. And then I want to make uh, steel smelting up here. So two holes, whoops, that was three. And get steel smelting going right up here. All right. What we'll do is uh, we'll just make, I think, more or less the standard setup where we directly feed iron plate into the uh, into a furnace and smelt steel out of that. So here we go. All right, and we can. Finish it up here. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Like that. And get some. Do we have more? Yeah, we do. So let's set up a few more. Okay enough for now. So inserters, oops, and I think, uh, yeah, I want to output down here. And the second line in the middle here will be coal, providing the middle furnaces with, uh, with power. All right, we're going to need more of these and these. So let's set up the power. And here we need long handed inserters as well. So what we'll do is, I think, let's do like this. And then stick this up here and do the same on the other side. I don't want that there. Um, let's just put them yeah, there. Makes it a little bit cleaner, I think. Like that. All right, so everything is powered. Now we just need to get some coal up here and some iron ore. So let's get working on that. Oops, I don't want that. Uh, there. Let's just put down the splitters here. We're going to need them anyway at some point. And the 
undergrounders there and then we can drag this up all right so coal should be coming yes it is and can stick these on and pull that up and uh, let's see let's do like this so we have coal running up in the middle here as well for another array of, of steel smelting if we need it <coughs> excuse me all right we need some uh, long-handed inserters we want to grab coal from here and we want to uh, output steel plate there so now we just need to get the steel up or the iron up there so let's do that uh, that was too early so let's uh, let's do it here don't want to run through the uh, the stone patch because we're, we're going to be mining that there 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 all right and we have some some miners so let's uh, get them set up so we produce some more iron ore for our brand new steel production there and get them powered up there we go we have a bit more iron ore production a bit more because some of these are out quite a few of them actually so I think what I want to do is set up uh, the next row as well uh, we need one more here we actually need two more here so like that there we go and then we can start over on this side and just run it up here and for now we'll just stick it on the same belt as all the rest that'll be fine all right let's see if we are actually smelting some steel Oh, the circuit network is done, so what I want to do next is logistics, I think. Let's see, do we have steel on the steel belt? Yes, we do. <coughs> Let's pull it out a little bit so it's not uh, only a tiny little fraction of steel that we can make. All right. Good, good, good. Okay, I think that's going to be it for this uh, episode, guys. I think we made some good progress. We got uh, iron gear wheels set up, we got green circuits set up, we got steel processing set up, and we got a little bit more protection from all the bad, bad biter attacks. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. <laughs>